Oh no, why, 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 why? That is like the best compliment ever. Generic control in the deck goes. We're here back with another Imarichu video. Today we're doing My Strange Habits by Imarichu. She talked about this in the past when she had the like embarrassing couple stories or whatever that video was where she like always sniffs food. Like she sniffed the sushi and the chef thought it was insulting because she was like smelling to see how fresh the fish was or something like that. I don't know. That video was a couple weeks ago. Last week I did uh, Living With My Voice and My Voice on Helium by Wolfie Chu. If you want to check out my reaction I'll leave it right up there. Also link down below in the description. Hopefully this video doesn't have any copyright issues because the past couple of you videos have been hit with copyright issues which I really don't want to have to deal with. But I hope you're having a good day. I hope I can make it a little bit better. I hope you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos as we are building up this channel. Crazy that two years ago the entire channel was deleted and I had to start back over from nothing. And here we are again with a great community that thankfully some people were able to come back and find me again and stuck with me through the entire thing but i read every single one of your comments so at least them down below and like i said i hope you had a wonderful day i hope i can make it tiny a little bit better but let's go ahead and jump into my strange habits also Before tell me what start, some of your strange you habits are I that is a, a cute mug up in my merch store it's red and green and me it's and red Christmas and green outfits. and me so if you want to grab one for your holiday hot cocoa or eggnog link will be in the okay. description i've never had uh eggnog all right fact. so let's talk about some of my strangest habits well, tell me some of your strange habits strange, i probably have some weird way ones more common than i initially thought i'll let you be the judge of that Number yeah one, i probably I have sniff some sniff everything i sniff out of all the five senses stuff. the one i probably use the most is smell it's not even like I have a great huh. sense of smell or anything. It's just that my first Dog. reaction to anything is to sniff it for whatever reason. What do you reason. smell like? Especially with food. People I wonder if that has something to do with, like, know that I always sniff my food. maybe she, like, As smelled in, really good, something really good when she was younger. I deeply. I don't know. I feel like smell is, like, half sniff. of the tasting experience, right? Like, if something Well, actually, your really tasty, sense of taste comes from smell. That's why when people got of COVID, it doesn't just stop at food. if they lost if hand me the ability to taste, they lose the first thing lost the ability to smell, they lose the ability to taste. One time, my friends and I discovered a chunky little slug right outside our apartment, and after petting Yikes. its cold, Oh, no. Exterior, why? Why? You know, why would you do that? I've stepped on them. It is terrible. You can't get the sun off. Anyways, they were super grossed out, but sometimes yeah. the curiosity overwhelms you. When my hair is freshly I, washed, I'll do that thing where I take a bunch of it around to my face and inhale. That's fair. I used to do that when I had goodness. Yeah. yeah. Smell also has a lot to do with my attraction to someone. Like yeah, that guy's well, I think cute I'm a and all, but does he does smell, he smell good? good? Listen, fellas, take notes. I apparently smell good. Smelling I have no idea. attractive is half the battle. All right. If your crush tells you you smell good, you got to That is like the best compliment body ever. body wash or cologne you're using because it's working. My friend Moon yeah. has joked that when I die, well, people told probably me, probably because several girls have told me I smell good, to. but I There's literally have nothing moments, on. Like, nothing. Hey Moon, what's this? That is acetone. I use it for stripping acetone. paint and melting plastics. It's toxic though, so be careful. Hey, you can melt Emily, a lot what did of stuff. I just say? Get Don't your smell. smell. You know right now what is wrong with you? Emily at a gas Number station. Two, did you lock your door? I've been told if I were one of those tiny little mobile Persicoms from the anime Chobits, my only function the, the, would be to ask, what? did you lock your door? Because I do it literally all the time. Do you ask time. people Doesn't if they lock their door? Doesn't matter who it is. If you... I'm riding it's in someone's feature. car, hey. the second we step out, I ask, did you lock your car? Sometimes I forget to ask until we've I walked a little too far away. And they're first. like, well, I always I don't want to put car, that doubt in somebody's head. I'm pretty head. sure that I locked my car. But I always... you asking me that question is suddenly making me doubt whether yep. I did. And now I have to walk all I always the way back just lock to it, with myself check out the did, key, fact, well, lock my car. Before well, I shut the door, I check out the key. The peace of mind of knowing you locked then your I car. shut the door, You're and welcome. then I pull the lever to see you. if it opens. Listen, better safe than but sorry, right? Sometimes I this is the current state of my car. Out. This is my I'll brake rotor. I lock my door before I leave my apartment, like I always do. Walk like 50 feet, and then think to myself... Wait. Did I lock my door? Did I lock my door? That's I just know anxiety. I locked my door. I just did it. But what if I just imagined that I locked my door and I actually forgot this because one you've done time it so many times? Yeah. In. If I don't go back and check, the uncertainty is gonna bother me for the rest of yep. the day. Yep. Yep. And then I yep. go back and check. And okay. Of yeah. Course it's and it's locked, locked. every but single like I time. I said, better safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. I explained this habit of mine mm -hmm. to my friend Adam, and he said that sometimes when he locks his door, he'll make a weird noise after because it's easier to remember what? the weird noise than to remember if you locked your door or not. So I've been trying to put that That's into practice. That's an interesting more often. tip, actually. Ooga booga. What the heck Ooga was booga. that? That was so I don't end up walking back to check if I remember to lock I like my how door. I she just gets Wolfie Do you in the, the video. Memory of a goldfish? Honestly, I wouldn't Probably. doubt it. Number three, frequent bag checks. 
Similarly to the last one, I found that I have a nervous an habit of periodically checking my bag throughout the day to make sure all my important Keys, items are wallet, still phone, in their place, even if I hadn't gun. taken anything out. And it's not even just when I'm out and about. Before I go to bed at night, I can't sleep until I've checked to make sure I know where my car keys, wallet, and phone are. That's a little like, insane. They're always in the same spot every time. I mean, my shrink cabin might be working out every single day. I have to see them and reassure myself before I can sleep peacefully. Yeah. Kind of feels like I'm a baby with no sense of object permanence. I think I developed this habit because my parents would always be like, Do you have all your things? Yeah, I already mm -hmm. checked. They think Check again! So now oh, I've God. noticed I do the same thing to my family and friends. It might seem really extra, but hey, Mom, thanks to this nervous you. habit, I never misplace my wallet, keys, or phone. Number four, extra If drinks. you lose your phone a lot, All right, here's a simple one. put it on silent. When I'm at a Starbucks You'll never lose or it again. a cafe well, or a I have shop, never lost it in I have a habit of ordering years. two drinks for myself because I usually end up getting stuck between two, and instead of choosing tea. one, I just end up getting both. Sometimes I want a That's fruity expensive. tea and a milk tea, or maybe an iced coffee, but also an iced tea. Why choose one when I can drink Vibe and water or Two drinks water. are just better than one. You know, except for the fact that I always end up peeing like 17 times afterwards, but I guess it's the price yeah. I pay for my greed. Number five, is food it's... a love language? I, I really like is food. It? And I also really I like sharing really... food. So I usually show I my cooking. appreciation to people by buying them food. It's my way of saying... Hey, let me express my friendship by treating you to this piece of happiness in the well, form that would of be edible goods. Kind of like how your cat gifts. will bring you a freshly killed like giving rat gifts. or a bird. Except, you know, less gross. I feel like this is definitely something I got from my parents. For as long as I can remember, every time they visited family or friends, they'd always bring something to eat. Grapes? Like a box of fruit, Who brings or bread grapes? from a bakery, or sweets. It was always bread something mochi. edible. And of course, anyone with Korean parents knows the all-out brawl that oh, so often happens Korean. when okay. two people insist on paying the bill and will literally tackle each other for the right to out-generous the I've, other. And the thing is, it wasn't I've like done my that parents were times. super wealthy. Gucci by bags. In fact, they were far from it. But to them, it was the proper and respectful thing to do. Having yeah. observed this behavior for years, I too Living have bag. developed yeah. the habit of insisting on paying for the meal as a show of appreciation. And usually I, people are like, oh, sweet, thank you so much. We're very stubborn. You know, free food. But free every so often, I'll have a meal with someone who also and has someone will try to pay. in the art of fighting for the bill. And it becomes a <laughs> yeah. new battle over who slaps their card on the check first. It gets really intense. Some of my uh, friends have in, literally thrown my credit card. If somebody insists to pay. that it's the like checks fighting, be separate, I'll take way. their check and pay so for it as well. So these are some of my most interesting or <laughs> I've done that habits. before. What's your most interesting habit and how does it affect your day-to-day -day life? And also, please let me know if you can relate with me on any of these, because I know for a fact I'm not alone uh, on most of these. Oh, yeah, she's definitely so not alone on most of these. Oh, there's Demon Slayer. I just finished up Demon Slayer. I just started Attack on Titan. The deck goes anime. Biting. Check that out. Um, it's just, like, another one. Also, I have a P.O. Box. If you want to send me any, like, physical, I hate it. like, and actually, art, recently, I've tried you to definitely stop can. Them. And this is the longest I've gone without biting my nails. So uh, I've never I bite my nails. I'm germophobic. I just use my nails to trim my other nails. I've never used nail clippers. Early. It's so, weird. Yeah, wish me luck. And wish I hope luck. you guys have a really good Thanksgiving. Um, I know oh, this I movie's personally, Thanksgiving? I'm much oh, more yeah. excited for Christmas and New Year's, so... Well, I'm gonna try to upload YouTube, a bunch more things. Before typically, the year CPM ends. goes up a lot more in this time of year, so that's for sure. But oh man, yeah, I mean, some of those weren't really strange habits. I mean, the whole the did you lock your car? Did you lock your door thing? I think it's just like an anxiety overthinking kind of thing. So I definitely relate to that. I definitely like will get in the car, start driving. I'm like, did I lock the door? They're like, yeah, I locked the door. And I'm like, Cal. You've done this every single time, and every single time it has been locked. That's why you literally turn it to lock it, and then you literally grab the knob to see if it twists. And it doesn't twist, so you know that you locked it. It's like I do multiple steps, so I, if I forget one thing, I'll know that the other thing. Like, if I turn the, if I don't lock the door and I turn the knob and it moves, I didn't lock the door. But then I'll be like, okay, do I remember locking the door? Maybe, I don't know. Do I remember grabbing the handle and twisting it as I closed it? Yes, did it move? No, your door is definitely locked. So, just kind of like adding steps to the process that don't really take up time. It's still kind of efficient, but it kind of eliminates any uh, doubt that I could have in my mind about things. You know, just overthinking all the time. I don't know how my strange habits would be. I really don't. I really don't know what I'm. Do I really have strange habits? Maybe just my work 
ethic working out every single day because I work out every single day. That's why I say a six pack is not worth it. It's not worth it. It's absolutely not worth it. Uh, maybe putting out all these videos. I I don't know. I really don't know. I look forward to reading your comments. Though. I'm going to be responding to a lot of them as well because I always read every single comment. People literally comment on videos from years ago and be like, oh, you read every comment? Doubt. And I'll go, correct, I do. <laughs> so, and they're like, and then they respond like, oh. So, yes, I do read every single comment. So, leave them down below. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Hopefully, I made it a little bit better. Like I said, if you want to check out my Demon Slayer reactions, the Duck Goes Anime just got caught up, and I'm literally just watched episode three of Attack on Titan today. So, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you for watching. But until next video, take care and keep the music.